Hi everyone, today I, the Golden Boy, will be opening the Mini Brand Series 5 that come in these four packs that you can get at Target. Now, we've opened the Mini Brand Series 5 that come in the cases, we've been opening the ones that come in the three pack tubes, and usually you get new ones whenever you get them in different packages, so let's see what's inside these four packs. Well, right off the bat, we got a new mini. This is the Smint. It seems like it's a uh, bubblegum, or maybe they are just mints. Either way, it's a new mini and it's actually plastic. I know from the looks of it, it might seem like it's, uh, what do you call it, cardboard, but it's not, it's actually plastic. That over there looks like a hinge. So I'm guessing the real thing opens like this. Never seen these in real life, but I'm assuming it's some sort of a tin. Kind of like the ones Altoids come in. All right, one of my favorite minis. This is the Minute Maid Light Cherry Limeade. I absolutely love the bottle minis that come in this series. They're so detailed and so realistic. Oh, that didn't work. This, my friends, is the Pepperidge Farm. Okay, focus. So this is the Pepperidge Farm German Chocolate Layer Cake. Well, this came with some money. So first off, we got the post-it notes, the cube box, whatever you want to call it, of post-it notes. If you've seen my previous videos, you know that I have a whole bunch of these. And then over here we have 100 cent francs stash of money. Oh, another one of my favorite minis from this series. This is the can of Fantasia or Sugar. It's not that I love this particular mini, I just love the type of mini, which is, you know, the cans. Again, I think these are some of the most realistic minis in this series. By the way, apologies for this nasty looking thing on my thumb. I was slicing some tomatoes yesterday and to be fair, it could have been a lot worse. It doesn't hurt or anything. I'm very lucky because my skin over there is pretty thick. But yeah, if you're wondering, that's what it is. Here we have the Airheads Extremes. Another can of Fanta Zero Sugar Orange. I think at this point I might have enough cans to actually make a 12 pack cardboard box. That'd be pretty cool, right? Okay, we have a FedEx box, and you guys know what that means. And this is the smallest container of bazooka bubblegum. And I did a short where I opened it, and there's actually a plastic cluster of bubblegum inside, exactly as it was in the regular, you know, bigger manager. This is a very cool mini. I'm always happy to have more of them. All right, this is the Campbell's Heat, Sip, and Go Classic Tomato Soup. The Cape Cod Original Sea Salt. These are kettle cooked potato chips, which I'm not very fond of. You probably already know my opinion. I think they're just a little bit too crunchy. I guess you can tell by this massacre that the packaging on these is not that great. They shrink wrap this thing as if they're trying to make it childproof. Here's another new mini, which proves that my theory is correct. These are the Pepperidge Farm Pirouettes. Ooh, with chocolate fudge. Mm, love these things. I'm pretty sure most of you guys had these or maybe just a variation of it. They're pretty good, aren't they? Cool looking mini, very true to the real product. Only complaint I have is that the Pepperidge Farm seems to be a little bit blurry over there. But other than that, I think it looks great. And hey, it's a new mini, which gets us closer to completing our collection. Another product from Pepperidge Farm. This is the German chocolate layer cake. All right, for a second there, I thought this is the... What do you call it? The sunscreen, because the way it felt through the bag. But no, it is the Tabasco pepper sauce. Right away, this reminded me of those plushies I did a video on. The snackles, or snackless as I used to call them. Okay, we got some cash that fell out of the pouch. And then, of course, another post-it notes cube box thingy. Like I told you guys in one of the previous videos, I was actually getting pretty upset because I had so many of these. It was just, it was just annoying. And then we got another stack of 100 cent francs. Okay, we have this mini. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It always reminds me of the toy mini brands whenever I see it. The mini hut glue gun. Here's a delicious bowl of Marchan ramen noodle soup, chicken flavor. Very soon, I'll have to do another one of those challenges where I eat just mini brands because honestly, if I get the Marchan bowl or the yakisoba, I'm all set. Here's a jar of Pace Original Picante Sauce. A blue raspberry slurpee, been pretty cool. And I dropped it. Good thing I didn't mess this up too much. Another one of my favorite types of minis, the cans. Well, I already said that, right? The cans, but I was referring to the cans of pop. These are the cans of 
I don't know, food. Well, we got here the Campbell's SpaghettiOs. And this is the Post-it Notes heart-shaped Post-it Notes dispenser. Oh yeah, we're back to the cans of pop. I cannot get enough of these. I mean, if I had a hundred of these, um, obviously different variations, not a hundred of Sprite, but you know, 25 Sprite, 25 Fanta, 25 Cola, and 25, um, I don't think there's anything else, right? It's Sprite, Fanta, Cola. Oh no, there's also Minute Maid. All right, so 25 of each, and I'd be a happy camper. Here's a different type of can. This is the Campbell's Chicken Noodle Soup. And this is a cardboard box uh, representing the pop secret butter popcorn. All right, here's another cardboard box, but I don't know. See, I'm not that mad at this box, probably because it's familiar. These are the Kellogg's Corn Flakes. What many brands should do is just create, you know, box only series and then plastic only series. Okay, this is that uh, really tiny uh, lollipop mini. I'm pretty sure you guys told me in the comments what it is. And um, yeah, I forgot. By the way, I was just thinking about something. Right now, I think I'm at around 832,000 subscribers. And I wanted to ask you, what do you guys think are the chances of reaching 1 million subscribers before the end of the year? I noticed a lot of you watching the videos are not actually subscribed. And you probably already know this, but it's actually free to subscribe and it literally doesn't take more than a second and one click of a button. So if you're actually enjoying these videos, please consider subscribing and being part of the entire community that, you know, took this channel to 1 million subscribers before the end of the year. Finally, the golden boy has gotten some gold, some very, very shiny gold. Wasn't I just saying in last week's video that it's been a while since I got some gold and that's not good for the golden boy? Well, here it is. My energies are replaced. No, replenished. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. This is the gold Tabasco sauce. So nice and shiny. It has stuff on it. I don't know if it's um, scratches or what. Yes, I'm actually using my t-shirt to see if that's actually dirt or their scratches. So give me just a second. Oh yeah, they were just, I don't know, whatever they have in the factory. Look at that shine. See, on this side, I did not polish it, but this side looks pretty darn good. Well, 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 we got a Minute Maid fruit punch can. Well, the only can we're missing from, you know, this episode to have the whole full what do you call it? The queen sweep? Isn't that five in a row? Or does it matter? Anyway, we just need the Coca-Cola can and then we're gonna have all of them in one video. I don't think I have this one. I might. And if I do, I probably just have one. I don't have any duplicates because I don't remember seeing this very often. It's the banana boat sunscreen for babies. Another blue raspberry Slurpee. Hashtag Slurp Life. All right, another mini hot glue gun. How many glue guns do you need, right? We've got ourselves a UPS box. Oh, I know what this is. I remember now. Yep, good old Dutch coin. I mean, the bad old Dutch coin. Yeah, I have a lot of these. I'm not even gonna take the time to put it back in its box. Okay, now we're talking. A new mini. This is the Scotch Box Lock Shipping Tape. It looks very realistic, doesn't it? Let me remove my uh, sore thumb and actually show it to you up close. Look at that detail. Not bad, right? Can you even read it, see? That's wild. I wonder if those barcodes actually work. I know I tried it once, but maybe it was something wrong with that specific barcode. Probably make a video where I go and just try scan these everywhere, see what happens. All right, this is the Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetables. Very detailed and incredibly close to the actual real product. We haven't gotten this one in a while. It's the Campbell's Sauces Skillet Chicken Masala. I don't have pots and pans yet in my new place, but soon I will, which is when I'm definitely gonna get this and give it a try. Hey, look at that. Queen Sweep, or whatever you call it. We got all four of the cans. See, everything works great, and I'm really lucky whenever I get a piece of shiny gold. I mean, they don't call me Golden Boy for nothing. Okay, here's a Minute Maid Original Orange Juice. Another can, this time. This time it's exactly the same as last time. It's the Campbell's Chunky Beef with Country Vegetables. Okay, this is the Minute Maid Zero Sugar Fruit Punch. Now imagine if there was something inside it. Actually looks as if you can open it, pour it. I have a feeling that, you know, 
Many brands in Miniverse should do some type of collaboration and come up with something really cool. All right, this is another one of my favorites from this series, the Lance Toast Chi, the peanut butter, peanut butter, the peanut butter sandwich crackers. And then the last one, we got a squished up uh, Airheads Extremes. And as you probably noticed, this was the last pouch we opened in this video. But if you want to hang out with me a little longer, what I'm going to do is open some mail. I got three envelopes here from uh, some of you guys, and I'm really excited to see what letters I got inside. We're going to start with this one first. It's from Steven. So Steven says, Dear GB Colleen, I haven't been a fan for a long time, but I have watched nearly all your videos and all your shorts. I am starting my own mini brands collection on my YouTube channel, so thanks for inspiring me. Well, Steven, I'm really glad to hear that. Thank you for sending me this card and sharing that with us. I'm looking forward to checking out your channel, but in the meantime, here it is for you guys if you want to check it out. It's Stevie's YouTube channel. Okay, the next one comes from Rachel. Okay, over here on the front says GB Colleen. <laughs> Sorry, I messed up. So the letter says, Dear GP Colleen, you probably know who I am, but I have another idea for a video you could do is letting Series 2 Foodie Mini Brands pick what you eat for a day or maybe a week. Question number one. Okay. How much money did you spend on each different mini brand series, if you don't mind me asking? That is very difficult to answer, but I can assure you it's it's a lot. Question number two, what is your go-to book to read? I really like dystopian science fiction survival type of books. Question number three, what is your favorite mini brand series? Well, that is pretty easy. It is definitely the foodie series. Series one, series two, hopefully they're gonna keep releasing those. And then finally, question number four, what do you do on your days off of filming YouTube videos? Um, well, that's kind of what I do <laughs> on my days off. I film YouTube videos and I edit and I think of other ideas and I organize my minis and you know, all that. As many of you know, I'm not doing this full time. I actually have a day job and I just make the videos and everything in my spare time. So that's where most of my off time goes to. But whenever I take off from work, you know, a week here, a week there, I usually like to travel and, you know, go and see a new place. And it's not internationally or anything. There's still a lot of places here in the US that I did not see and I would really like to see and visit. But anyway, I'm blabbering. Also get these cute little drawings this is a heart this is um not sure what this is but it looks really cool and then this is a star thank you so much rachel really appreciate the letter thank you for asking those questions it was actually really fun to answer them all right and then the last letter comes from jacob and he actually took some time to design this envelope looking pretty cool it says can i please have a bitcoin you mean the mini brands bitcoin also this comes from overseas and i really like that instead of using um usa he used america i'm not sure what it is but it looks like a christmas decoration i think these are like goggles what do you call those ski goggles mask ski mask it's a ski mask I think that's what it is. If it's not Jacob, I'm really sorry. Hi, my name is Jacob XU. I am a fan of your videos. I hope you enjoy your present. And then here on the back, it says lots of love, Jacob. Yes, I do enjoy my present, Jacob. Thank you so much for taking the time and effort to send it over to me. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching all the way till the end. And as usual, oh wait, don't forget to subscribe because you know, we're trying to reach that goal of 1 million subscribers before the end before the end of the year. I'm blabbering. As usual, you guys stay golden and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.